Hello, happy Sunday, everybody. Today is Sunday, October the 6th. It's already October, and this is chat number 142, and I am Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com. It's chat number 142, hit rewind to move forward. So, hello, everybody. Happy Sunday. If you are watching this later on YouTube, it's just youtube.com. Search if you have an egg. If you don't want to see all the high hellos, grab that little scroll bar and go ahead and take it over to about 10 minutes and because that's when it you know kind of dies down. But otherwise, if you want to say hey, we would love to say hey back to you. And if you are new, please let us know so that we can welcome you. We love to welcome new people. And for those of you that are just coming in, I finally did my nails. Yeah, so hello, Carol Lou. So I did get them done this week and I went ahead and did the mind over splatter. Hello, Rosie. So I hope I didn't just mess up, make the you know, make the camera all fuzzy since I stuck my hand and, you know, right up in it. And, um, yeah, and Rosie's got her little egglet things, you know, going on. Hello, my Christy. And yeah, and I see Cheryl is here. Hello, Claudie. And hello, Sylvia. Let's see. Yep. There's Sylvia. Yeah, there she is. She just popped in. Hello, Betty. So I hope y'all had a great week. Um, hello, Kathy. And you can tell from my hair, we have 100% humidity today. 100%. Yeah, hello Sylvia, hello Sandy from Northeastern Kansas. So, but I'm not complaining. Hello Patty, not complaining at all, at all. Hello Kathy, because we had not had any rain, I think it was 21 days until today. Hello Chris and hello Teresa. Well, last night technically. Technically it was last night, but I was sound asleep. So I didn't know that it rained last night until we went out this morning. Hello Marlene from Largo, Florida. Orlando Debbie has just snuck in. Hello Mary Ann, hello Scarlett is new. Hi, hello Scarlett. So everybody tell Scarlett hello. Yeah, welcome. We are so happy that you are here. Everybody welcome her. Hello, Deanna. It's Deanna's first time live too. So everybody welcome Deanna and Scarlett. Awesome. And hello, Barbara from the Crossroads. Thank you very much. This is humidity hair, Barbara. So it just gets bigger and bigger, you know, as the humidity goes up, but not complaining. So happy to have, so happy to have the rain. Um, Aloha, Kathy. Hello, Tag. Yes, hello, Orlando Debbie. I saw you sneak in. So we're just checking in on the Skyliner, Orlando Debbie. Mm, how's that situation going down there? And hello, Sandra from Chicago. Hello, Bernice from Northeast Texas. Yep, and there's my Christy popping in. Yeah. And Kathy says she wishes she could send me some rain from Iowa. So we would still take a little bit more. I mean, we got some last night and we got some more today, but we would still take some more. Still take some more. Hello, Sandra. And let's see. Good. Y'all are welcoming Deanna and Scarlett. It's Deanna, D-E-A-N-N-A. -N -N -A. Yeah, Deanna and Scarlett. Awesome, awesome. And yes, Barbara said yes, we would take more rain. We will definitely take more rain. But, okay, as some more of y'all are coming in, again, I am Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com. Today is, hello Janice, today is Sunday and it is October the 6th and this is chat number 142 and it is titled hit rewind to move forward so we will get started with the chat here in just a second but i do want to tell everybody hello dale and hello Haley. i do want to tell everybody though that for the second part um oh and hi janice but janice hasn't been able to see the comments for weeks um what is that i think you're supposed to swipe right janice i think i think you're supposed to swipe right everybody let you know, somebody let her know um and let's see hello lisa yeah hello april thank you this is a hand-me-down from casey <laughs> i don't know how old this shirt is but casey gave it to me quite a while ago but i'm trying to summon fall so i've been trying to wear things that are three-quarter sleeves to try and summer summon fall it's working okay it's just working okay yeah debbie says they need the rain trish said had a great week Tr hello trish from sunny california and hello myra hello mary hello sandra from i always say it wrong chi town chi town chicago anyway it's chicago hello sandra from dingman's ferry and hello, Karen. And let's see, Christy says the comments are not working on her iPad. I don't know what to tell you. It's working on mine. Like I can see him, but I guess, you know, I'm in charge. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, hello, Wanda. And thank you, Sylvia likes my top two. Thank you very much. Hello. Yeah. And April says it is chilly there in Pennsylvania. So if any of y'all have any advice for people who are not seeing the comments, if you would please let them know. Hello, Deanna. Oh, I'm sorry. Deanna is very excited to be here. Yay. And hello, Judy from Texas. So um, don't know if Casey will make it in here with us tonight. She had a wedding to go to, and apparently, apparently Alyssa had a very fun time. I'm shocked though that she wasn't going down the. In, I'm shocked she was not in the wedding. Alyssa was not in the wedding, um, but I'm surprised that, that she didn't try to be in the wedding and walk down the aisle. Hi, hello, hello, hi. She's definitely going to be a. She's definitely going to be a parade girl. Um, and Wanda, thank you very much. Wanda says my hair accents my face. Oh well, thank you. This is wet hair. This is, yeah, this is 100% humidity hair, but again, not complaining. Absolutely not complaining at all. Okay, and, oh no, 
know. Lisa says they are not working on hers either. Okay, I don't know how to fix that because I don't have it turned off or anything. So sorry, y'all are just gonna have to figure it out. Hello, Sherry. Um, let's see. Oh, Sherry is in right now. She's in chilly New England. Chilly. Ooh. And hello, Deanne. She says it's been a while since she's been with us. Hello, Marlene. And hello, Melissa. So is there anybody who can see comments besides me? Because that would be awesome if y'all could let the other people know and let me know so I don't panic thinking that for some reason comments aren't working as if I have, as if I can do anything about that. I don't know. Facebook has a mind of its own. And, um, oh, Barbara said it is working on her iPhone. Okay, great. And Trish says she can see them on her phone, but not on her TV. What? We're on your TV? That's crazy. Judy can see him. Evie can see him. Sylvia can see him. Yeah, Sylvia can see him. Teresa can see him. Okay, awesome. Thank you for letting me know. Um, again, if Casey's here, I did finally get my nails done. So... Yeah, I went ahead and did the Mind Over Splatter. You all talked me into it. So last week, last week I was trying to decide because I had not done them and they were kind of naked for a little while. Yeah, Debbie, it's called Mind Over Splatter. And I hate to hold them too close because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to make this, I don't want to make the screen go fuzzy again. But anyway, okay. So Mind Over Splatter. And if you all like them, these are Color Street nails and Casey does. Um, she is a Color Street rep if you all are interested. So anyway, okay. Lisa says to go out and come back in, or she went out and came back in, and now they're working. I don't know, Facebook's so weird. Oh, that's what I was going to say. So, I'm in Facebook jail over on the KC Kitchen Center page. So, yeah, we're having a sale over there. I'm not trying to talk y'all into going to the sale, but we are having a sale over there. And, um, yeah, it's just kckitchencenter.com. And I hope I don't get in trouble for saying that because, anyway, I'm kind of in uh, Facebook jail over there. Okay. So, again, last week. Whoops, hold on. I just messed up what we're going to do in the second half. I just accidentally, oh, oh, and Trish has YouTube TV. That is so cool. That is so cool. I know, Debbie. I love these. Love these. Mind over slider. Okay. So, 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 so. Okay. Last week, we were talking about living your why. And remember these. I'm just curious. Did anybody make these? The little, the little um, turkey pesto meatballs. The ones that I thought were, hello, uh, Mary. Wait a minute. Mary moved. So now she's Mary from Ontario instead of from Nova Scotia. Eh? Sorry, I had to do it. So remember, I thought these were sausage balls and they were turkey meatballs. <laughs> I'm just wondering if anybody tried them. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about our meeting from last week. So, or our workshop from last week. So who attended, because there's quite a few of us here now. So who attended your workshop last week? If you went to a physical workshop last week, give me a thumbs up. And if you were watching this later on youtube.com, it's just YouTube, on YouTube, it's just youtube.com search if you have an egg. You can't really do the live thumbs ups like the girls here can. If you're watching this live with us tonight, you can hit that little button and do a thumbs up. So if you attended, um, I'm sorry, if you attended a physical workshop last week and sat your bottom in a chair, then give me a thumbs up. And if you attended here with us last week, or if you did both, let's see some hearts. And remember, if you're watching this later, so if you're not watching this with us live, if you're live, y'all are, ah, who hit a mad face? Was that, was that a, was that a boo-boo? Did somebody hit a mad face? No, 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 no mad faces. But if you're watching with us live, you can do the thumbs ups and you can do the hearts, but no mad faces. We don't allow mad faces on here. Um, and if you're watching this later, again, on YouTube, or if you're watching this later on Facebook and you can't do the little live, you know, things going up, um, then feel free to, you know, to comment because I do try to go back through and look at all the comments. Um, but for everybody who attended either or both last week, here are your Bravo stickers. So here you go, ladies, here are your Bravo stickers. Um, and we are still working on how to um, make that so that you can download those and print them on the new website, on the new ifyouhaveanegg.com website, which will be a little while because apparently my um, my ideas for the new If You Have an Egg, um, Chris, you still, gotta, you can still get a Bravo for watching later, um, but apparently my ideas for the new and improved ifyouhaveanegg.com are about this big, like my ideas are this big, and we're trying to squeeze it into this much. So anyway, and Barbara is going tomorrow to put her bottom in a chair. Awesome. Hello, Stacy. So awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, a lot of y'all did your homework. We will talk about the homework in just a second. And actually, we're going to talk about the homework in a little bit because you all were killing it this week, killing it this week on your homework. So much so that your homework from last week is the second part of this chat. There are so, so many of you all did your homework and they were so good. These responses were so good. We're actually gonna go over some of them in the second half because I think there are a lot of us. Oh, Trish, Trish is only six pounds from gold. Yay, 
maybe, but I think there are a lot of us who could use some of these, who could use some of these other people's whys, um, because some of them I was like, yeah, I hadn't thought about that. Hmm, I hadn't thought about that. I hadn't thought about that. So anyway, that's going to be in the second half, but the first half, we are, oh, and Rosie said doing her homework helped her to stay positive all week. Yay! But last week when we were talking about living your why, um, I decided to do a 30 days of why challenge. So you don't have to do all 30 days. So the 30 days, um, oh no, Dale has not been to, able to get to a meeting in four weeks and is struggling and set an alarm to watch us tonight. You are okay. You are in good hands. You're in good hands. You need to go back and watch the last four YouTubes um, or on Facebook. So that you can you know so that you can get you know kind of caught up but you're fine you're okay you're back so that is awesome you are back um but living your why so if you can't do the 30 if you can't do the 30 you know 30 days of why don't worry about it just do one or do two but in the second half for people who don't know what their why is or you knew what your original why was and you're just having trouble kind of grasping it you know um going forward we're going to talk about that in the second half in the extra credit portion but when we were talking about living our why if y'all remember if you remember from last week, um, we were talking about, you know, envisioning your why, you know, thinking about, you know, maybe, you know, in the beginning, you know, because I know some of us, like we've been doing this, Karen and I, accountability buddy Karen and I have been doing this for over 25 years. Yeah, so our why in the beginning is completely different than our why's now, you know, because we were like 25, 26 years old when we started. And so, you know, back then, um, our why was to look, you know, be thin and to be that hip mom, you know, because we had little kids. Um, and we were, um, you know, we had little kids and we just had, we were young, you know, we just had completely different whys. Now we're both grandmothers, you know, and, um, we got stuff to do. So we thought we were busy when we were 25 and um, we're way busier now. And I think we actually have like fuller, I don't know, fuller, more, um, meaningful lives, you know, maybe now because we've started to figure some of this out, you know, and we figured out what some of our whys are. Um, but they wanted us to go back and review our week. And, you know, and think about what we did over the past week, you know, that might that might acknowledge anything that kind of threw us out of balance and then give ourselves some credit for some things that we did well and doing your homework. Definitely, definitely. So everybody who did your homework, definitely that gives you extra credit. So here is your here are your Bravo stickers. So you all get lots of Bravo stickers. Some of you all have done almost every single day so i think we're on today would be day seven so again if you didn't if you didn't get in on this in the beginning don't worry about it the people that are doing the 30 days of why the hashtag 30 days of why um they're going to get if they can keep it up through all 30 days they're going to get a t-shirt at the end um but if you didn't trust me it's worth posting your why even if you just post it for yourself if you just write it down and stick it somewhere it's worth doing it just for some extra motivation you know and just to remind you so um i really think this has been therapeutic. I think it has been helpful. Um, I've seen um, a lot of camaraderie. I've seen a lot of people kind of getting their heads together, you know, and come and coming together, you know, with each other. So I think it's an awesome idea to, you know, to come around, you know, and reflect on this and to do it every single year. And I think we've done it every single year. I think we have been doing this every single year, at least for the last few years. And then to pick us, you know, to pick a small goal, you know, for, you know, for your why. So we did that as homework. Again, bravo stickers for everyone who um, who joined in on that. You want to do your 30 days of why. If you started in the beginning, if you started on day one, you got Lynn says it helped her focus better. Teresa said it's uh, living your why is motivating. Kathy said it really, it, and Kathy agreed. She said it really is. So, um, yeah, if you didn't get it on the 30 days, I'll let you cheat if you want to. You can go through and do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just remember to tag me in it. So it's at, it's the at sign the one that looks like an A with a circle around it, it's that one. So all of y'all that are doing hashtag, that's really cute and I've been finding those too, but they're harder to find. <laughs> but if you'll do the at symbol, and if you have an egg, and um, Trish says, please address mean comments on postings. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Um, Trish, you're gonna have to tell me what that means because I'll, is it something like right now? Because I can't see those. But anyway, um, and I don't know how to see those. But anyway, or is it in the group? So anyway, we can talk about that separately. If it's here, I need to know I need to know who it is and what's going on so that we can take care of that right now. But if it's in the group, we'll just let's talk about that separately. Um so anyway, you can go you can cheat and do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and um and I'll you know, and I will I'll let those count. Um otherwise just do the at if you have an egg, if you're on do if you're here on the Facebook page, if you're in our closed group, um, do at 
Kelly Green Milligan and it'll pick up. Um, if you are on YouTube or on the blog, you will just have to go ahead and just, you know, type in and um, you know, just type in your um, your comment and um, Okay, Trish said, okay, Trisha, I'll check that later. So anyway, um, and Lori says, can someone type the hashtag we need to post? Oh no, it's not a hashtag. It's, well, I'm sorry, the hashtag is, it's ha hashtag 30 days of why. So I can post it here at the end, but if somebody else wants to post it, that would be all. Thank you, Carol Lou. Thank you for jumping right in there. And Carol, I think has every single day and she has an awesome one and we will talk about it in the second half. Okay. But anyway, so jump on that, get in that. Um, yeah, and Barbara's exactly right. That's the at sign. So you want to do at, either if you have an egg or at um, Kelly Green Million. Or if you are on, thank you, Bernice. Or if you were on um, Connect, it is at Scrap and Stamp 2. S-C-R-A-P-N Stamp 2, the number two. Okay, so those are your 30 days of why. Keep doing them. Um, I'm loving them. Loving them, loving them, loving them. Loving them so much, we're going to spend the entire, um, in the entire second half. So Karen, don't worry about it. I think I've seen you. So you all have done so well that I have literally been spending about an hour every single morning um, before I actually wake up. I've been spending about an hour going through and giving everyone, um, giving everyone their, you know, their Bravo stickers. Um, and hey, Tahira. So, okay let's talk about this week so this week this is chat number 142 and it is hit rewind to move forward oh quick side note lynn lynn are you still here hello loretta lynn are you still here because guess what's in the mail guess what is finally in the mail to you yeah finally i know so casey and i have nailed this we've got this down now we've got a system down so anyway it's just been like a year later okay so number 142 hit rewind to move forward Hello, Bernice. So did you did you see that, Lynn? I hope you did. Okay, because you need to watch for that. Anyway, hit rewind to move forward. Okay, yeah, and Lynn did see it. Okay, anyway, hit rewind to move forward. So I don't know how old you all are. Don't know how old everybody is. But um, the hit the hit rewind to move forward, it looks like a cassette tape, So which I found very funny. So we started talking about VHS tapes and cassette tapes, you know, and things that we had a couple of... You know, some of the younger people were like, what? What are you talking about? You know, like they didn't have any idea what we were talking about, you know, rewinding cassette tapes. And who here, just as a complete sidetrack, who here has taken a pencil and stuck it into a cassette tape and turned it to get it to get it to go back in, you know, after the tapes come, you know, come completely out for some reason? Who has stuck who has stuck a pencil in there and turned it? Yeah, me. Me. So anyway, some of these younger kids don't know what we're talking about. But, so we're talk today for chat number 142, we are talking about hitting rewind to move forward. So those of you who know what a VHS tape is or you know what a cassette tape is, you know about hitting rewind. So it looks like most of us here are old enough to know what that means <laughs> tonight. Um, but you know what hitting rewind means. So, you know, like when Casey was little, she had, I mean, boxes and boxes or like a whole, you know, shelf of VHS tapes and she would sit, you know, and rewind. So, you know, she'd be, she'd let them play. She knew that was one of the very first things she learned how to do was how to stick the VHS tape in. And believe it or not, she never stuck anything weird in the VHS in, in there, just the, just the tapes. So she would put her VHS, VHS tapes in and get it going and let it start playing and she knew she knew to rewind you know when she was when she was done um and you remember those little stickers that they used to have on there when you rented um videos and it said please be kind rewind so that is what we were doing tonight we were being kind to ourselves and rewinding so um she would put them in and she would get her movie playing and there's a lot of you all that is a lot of you all you know are old enough to remember what those are so um but she would put them in and she would get them um, playing. Yeah, and Debbie says eight tracks too, but she would get them playing. And then she would go back and she would watch her favorite part. So she had at least one tape I know of. I know for sure, I know for sure that um, she, oh my gosh, and Christy had a car shaped video rewinder. Do you remember that? Yeah, and Lynn was a medical transcriptionist for 25 years and you had to fix those a lot too. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, remember we, we had video rewinders. I mean, like a, a little machine that was specific just for rewinding it so that we could hurry and start watching our next movie 
hurry and start watching the next movie, you know, um, didn't have time to rewind. We had to start and what, you know, start, you know, go back to, you know, go start watching the next movie. But anyway, so she would rewind it and go back and rewind it and go back and rewind it and go back and rewind it and go back. And she would, um, she would do that so many times. Oh yes. And Lynn, happy birthday. But she would do that so many times that George of the jungle in particular, that was the one I remember. Um, but George in the jungle, she actually like melted it because she had rewound so many times and just like back to her favorite parts, you know, and watched it. Okay. So that's what we're doing tonight. We're talking about rewinding, you know, and going back so that we can move forward. Okay. So this is so funny what it says in our weekly today. And this is what your weekly looks like this week. So from, from last week, this was your weekly. Um, and it is, again, hit rewind to move forward. Um, if you attend a physical workshop, you can pick up one of these. And they usually have them, they usually have them, um, you know, like, like extras. Um, like, so if you miss a week that you can, that you can go back and get one. Um, and you can, because you said my Disney Robin Hood broke. Yeah, I know. I get it. We have that. We've got that one too. Um, and we still have a lot of her old VHS tapes. But anyway, so, um, or you can download these from online, um, but you have to do it in that same week, um, or it's a little bit harder to find. The recipe for this week looks yummy, except I need somebody to tell me what oat milk is. So I've seen, I'm assuming it's made out of oats. Has anybody ever had oat milk? It looks delicious, but I just, I don't know what oat milk is. I've never had it. Okay, but so what they're talking about with the hit rewind to move forward, it's, the first part of this is like so so rings true it says how'd that happen it's a question we've all asked after eating the cookie skipping the gym or blowing off much needed sleep for the for the not so needed netflix okay now you're dismantling ww get on you know back off from the netflix back off from the netflix but for answers for answers, rewind the tape. It's a technique that helps you see the actions, situations, and thoughts that sent you off track so you can course correct to move closer to your to your goals. You'll also notice what went well so you can keep it up. So remember I was saying that Casey was um, rewinding, like she was rewinding those um, to, oh no, Betty's dog is barking at the rain because he hasn't heard it in so long. I'm with you. Yeah, I know. It happened today and I was like, what is that? Is that milk? I mean, it's milk. I'm sorry, I saw the milk comment. Um, Oh, Haley says it's thicker than almond milk. Hmm, I'm gonna have to look for some of that because I have to make vegan gravy for our um, traveling dinner here in the lofts um, for next Friday night. Okay, anyway, so remember I said Casey was going back, she was rewinding and watching her favorite parts. So you're not just gonna hit rewind. So what we're talking about tonight, you're not just gonna hit rewind to see what you did wrong. You're gonna hit rewind to see what you did right too. That is another reason that you need to track, 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 track. And if you're only tracking on your phone, if you're only tracking um, on uh, with, with the WW with the e-tools and things, if you're only tracking with that, just know that that, I don't know what the time period is, but that kind of, it kind of falls off after a certain amount of time. So if you had a really, really good week, you might want to go down, you might want to go back and either, you know, like do screenshots and print those days off or, um, you know, find some other way to hold on to them. You know, you could make some of the index cards that we've made before, but find some way to hold on to them, you know, so that you don't lose them because you want to go back and be able to look at good weeks too, not just, you know, not just review bad things. Okay, so they say, imagine a video recording. Imagine a video recording of the situation. In your mind, rewind the tape 48 hours and watch everything that happened. Notice what actions you're taking, the circumstances around you, and the thoughts in your head. So this makes me think of Criminal Minds. You know how they have everybody go back and they'll say, you know, you, they'll close their eyes and they'll go back to that day and they'll say, what did it smell like? What did you hear? You know, they, and they just had them go down, you know, go down a list of things um, to help them, you know, remember, you know, remember that day and remember that situation. So that's what you want to do here. You want to, um, whether it was good or bad, you know, you just want to go back, you know, and kind of think back 48 hours, you know, what led up to this, whatever this is. And then two, pinpoint what you would change, what you would change. So that's if, you know, if it was something that didn't go quite, you know, like it, quite like you wanted it to. Um, where would you act differently and record again? For example, if you ate a cupcake at a work party, you might stop the tape after dinner the night before when you didn't pack snacks for the next day. Hmm. Does that sound familiar? That you ate a cupcake for me? Ate a cupcake at a work party because the night before you forgot to pack your snack? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So if I rewind back to that, you know, and remember, oh no, I didn't pack my snack. So I didn't, ha I didn't have anything with me 
um, to eat. Yeah, and Janice says, I, can't, I certainly can't remember what I did an hour ago, let alone 48 hours ago. If you really think about it though, some, I mean, like what we're talking about is you can track back to this. So I'll give you, I'll give you an example here in a second and then replay the tape with your edit. So how does it turn out the next time? Like the next time you, you were in that situation, how does that one turn out? You know, like you're thinking you're like pre-planning, you know, for this. So um, how does it turn out? Maybe you munch on grapes and cheese you brought with you so you're not starving at cupcake time. Based on the new video, describe what to do differently next time. Pack snacks. You know maybe yep you know maybe you should do that okay so if you and this is just going to be a you know a silly example so let's say that you have that you are um you know making something um and it's something that's really messy and you have um hello lisa so um oh and lisa's been doing her wise very good um so let's say that you are making something and you're making something that's really messy and you're in the middle of making it and you only have ingredients enough to make it one time um, and it's going to be super messy and you're making it and you know kids are running around and the dogs running in and out and you have not left yourself enough room in the kitchen you haven't left yourself enough time you know and you're making you're running 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 running, running and book it gets knocked over it gets knocked over and it gets spilled everywhere and it's gone so what just happened what just happened you were making something and you spilled it and now it's gone and you can't unspill it so even if you rewind your tape so even if you rewind your tape um and lynn hello brenda lynn says she had to ask her sisters what she ate this weekend i said honey that's why i take a picture of everything so i can go back and go oh yeah but anyway so you spilled it you know you were in a hurry you know i had all this other stuff going on but you only had enough to make one and boop, it got knocked over and you spilled it um so you when you you can't rewind that and unspill it you, you know you can't but what you can do is when it's time to make that again you can rewind your tape so this is a silly example but you can rewind your tape and go back and think oh uh oh the last time i made that hello joyce from west of ann arbor you can rewind your tape and go back and think and this doesn't even require having a good memory surely to goodness it will trigger you uh oh i'm getting ready to make x y or z again and you know what the last time i made that we only got to we only got to have about a third of it because the rest of it got knocked over or the dog jumped up on the table and ate it or whatever but if you rewind back to that and think hmm what went wrong there so what went wrong was you didn't leave yourself enough time first of all you didn't leave yourself enough room um you had everybody you know it was something that you knew was going to be messy and you only had the ingredients one time but you had kids and a dog and whatever going on so the next time you make it this is where you rewind think what can i do differently so the next time you make it think hmm okay i'm sending the kids with the dog outside to play and they can't come back in until i'm done making it maybe i'll give them a treat when they come back in maybe i'll reward them you know with um they can watch you know 15 extra minutes of tv or play a game you know or whatever um but i'm sending the kids outside with the dog I'm going to clear off my prep area so I've got plenty of room to, you know, to get this done. Um, and I'm going to give myself an extra 15 or 20 minutes to make sure that I can get this done, get it put up, um, you know, and get finished with it before everybody comes back in, you know, from outside. So it's the same thing with, you know, if you ate a cupcake at an office party, if you, um, you know, just went on a bender, um, you know, if you had, you know, whatever, whatever the situation is, um, we used to have a lady in our group um, who she's not been there in a while. Um, she's just had some different life circumstances. And I really honestly think she probably moved. But every single year, every single year, it was for us like watching, you know, like rewinding and rewatching this three days in her life every single year. So I hope to goodness she is not on here. But anyway, so every single year when we started getting close to the holidays which believe it or not we are starting to get close to the holidays but every year as we got closer and closer and closer to the holidays she would start to freak out and panic because she knew what was coming because she had rewound that tape and watched it over and over and over and over again in her mind Oop, we gotta hurry and that tape said that come thanksgiving that she was gonna overeat at thanksgiving and then on friday she was gonna have a cookie swap for her, um, she was gonna have a cookie swap with her friends and they would make cookies, exchange them, eat cookies and drink more wine than probably anybody, which probably had to do with a lot of the cookie eating, but drink more wine than anybody, you know, had, you know, had business drinking. 
But every year she rewound that tape, but then she just played it the same. She rewound it, thought about it, pan I mean, freaked out over it every single year. But then she, when she replayed the tape, she replayed it exactly the same. She didn't change anything. You know, so hopefully now, you know, however many years down the road, hopefully now she's rewound that tape enough times that she can say, hmm, maybe I won't drink as much wine. Maybe I won't eat as many cookies. Or maybe I'll bring something to put some of the cookies in so I can freeze them, you know, and I can tell them I'm going to have them later. Or maybe I could have a snack before I come. Or, you know, just something that's different so that she doesn't, because she was rewinding it and playing the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. You know what I mean? Okay, so... That's what I want you to do. Your homework for this week is I want you to think of one thing, even if you have to call somebody and ask them, you know, to remind you, but I want you to think of one thing that you wish that you could go back and change. Um, and I want you to tell me what you would do differently if you had a chance to do it again. Yeah, like double the recipe. Yeah, like, um, let's see, we already had a couple of things like track it, you know, just track it. Hello, Roberta. So even just if tracking is something, you know, is something different. Um, yeah, Teresa said something that she, some words that stuck with her from her, um, from her WW meeting was, I know me, you know, I know me. So why do we keep doing the negative things? So just go back and try to set yourself up, you know, rewind that tape and try to set yourself up in a different scenario and go ahead and think about what the different scenario is. Hello, Patricia. Go ahead and think about what the different scenario is so that, you know, so that you can envision yourself doing, you know, this, especially if it's something like her. Thing at Thanksgiving where you keep doing it over and over and over and over again. Okay, so in your homework, tag me in it. I know this homework is going to be good, but it's not going to be, it's not going to be as as much as the one that we're getting ready to go over. Your y'all killed it with your wise. If you do as well with this, whoo, we're going to have a party or something. But so tag me in it. So pick something, pick something that you would like to go back and you know and redo. Go ahead and tell me what it was, what you would do. You know, rewind it. Tell me what you would do differently, and what you're going to do, you know, next time. Um, tag me. It's at, if you have an egg, if you're here on the Facebook group, um, or if you are on Instagram, it's at, if you have an egg, if you're in the Facebook, I'm sorry, the Facebook page is at, if you have an egg, the Facebook group, it is at Kelly Green Milligan, um, and my name will pop up. And if it's on Connect, it is Scrap and Stamp 2, at Scrap and Stamp 2. Okay. So I'm going to take a quick break. We actually ran over um, the first part by two minutes. I'm going to take a quick break, and then we will do part two, which is going to be, oh, some of it's going to be the feels, you know, the feels. Okay, so Barbara, it's time for your water. Y'all know I have to keep this going because the the water keeps my throat going while we're talking. But yes, yes, Barbara, water. Okay, we are back. This is part two of chat number 142 that was titled Hit Rewind to Move Forward. And I got to pull this back up on my phone. What we're going to do for the second part for our extra credit tonight, we are going to talk about some of your whys. So you all did an amazing, amazing job posting your whys this week. And for people who don't know what their why is or if you don't know what we're talking about, this is... Your why could be the reason that you joined WW. Your why could be the reason that you keep on. Your why could be the reason that you didn't eat a cupcake at the um, company party this week. So, you know, and your why may change over time. So my why in the beginning is completely different than my why now. Um, and several of us are doing 30 days of why. We're doing hashtag 30 days of why. Um, again, y'all are kicking it kicking it, killing it, you know, whatever. Um, so we're going to read some of these. So for people who don't know what your why is, or um, if you can't think of anything, or or if you already know what your why is, but you just want some little extra encouragement, or if you'd just like to hear what some of these other ladies and a couple of gents said. I don't think we have any gents on here tonight, though. Um, these are awesome. These are awesome, awesome, awesome reasons, you know, why. So we're not going to get through all of them because there are tons of tons of them um but let's just go through let's just go through some you know right now so the first one kathy says that her why is so that her why on day number seven is so that she can be a better accountability buddy to her buddy so how important is that that is definitely a why you know there are days that i know karen and i are both you know would be like gosh i don't want to do this anymore or you know or i'm not having a good day you know or whatever 
but that is an excellent why, um, Kathy, that you want to be a better accountability buddy because, you know, I know we are both encouragement for each other. We're both, you know, you know, sort of kind of responsible for each other. So I think that's a good one. Um, the next one is Carol Lou. She has, she's on day seven. You all have got to go back and read these. So I can't read you all seven of hers, but Carol Lou is a proud grandma. Um, but they had a rough first couple of days. So she has a new why that is amazing. So she's got a seven, let's see, is she seven days old or six days old, Carol? I can't remember. Um, but grandbaby and she was um had some difficulties um in the beginning she was born at 35 weeks um she had some breathing difficulties um she was in the NICU and um let's see oh Haley says she just got her daughter to sign on <laughs> oh okay um but anyway she yeah sweet she's a sweet sweet baby um and she is going home so that Carol that is a why if I ever heard one Wow, 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 yeah. So if you all have been following that one, um, she, of course, she got me. <sighs> you got me when you said your son called and said, you know, that there was bad news or whatever. I was like, wait, what, 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 what? Yes. And so, yeah. So um, hopefully she's doing better with her jaundice because all of us grandmas and moms, you know, know that that's totally, you know, totally resolvable. Okay. Then Kathy says um, her day seven is um, because. Let's see, it, she, it's a beautiful picture of, of a sunrise, and it says, Day 7, because getting up early to work out allows me to occasionally be graced by, graced by God's beauty, and God is good. you got to go back and look at this sunrise. Amazing. 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 And Kathy had another one. Another one, uh, her Day 6, was keep, to keep having the ability to assist her mother. So... There are several of us on here that are taking care of aging parents um, that are raising grandchildren. You know, we're not raising Alyssa, but, you know, sometimes it feels like it. But, um, but you know, helping with, you know, aging parents and, um, you know, helping with that. So how important is that to us and to them that you are staying healthy, that you're taking care of yourself? You know, that's an extremely important why um, because, you know, the, the older, you know, the older population just seems like it is growing and growing and growing um, and it just doesn't seem like they have as many options. Um, you know, it's like people don't have... Um, I don't know. You just don't have, you know, like people used to have farms to sell and take care of people. There used to be, you know, um, you know, people that would come into homes, you know, and I know there are, there, I know there are services, but it's just not like it used to be. So, um, you know, so kudos to everybody who is, you know, who is staying healthy so that you can help take care of, you know, of your aging parents. It's extremely important. I mean, they raised us. So it's extremely important that we take this time, you know, to take care, to take care of them. Okay. And no, Carol, who we are not getting tired of the baby pictures. Never, ever. Okay. Teresa says, um, that she is, let's see, Teresa says on day six, she says, 1 Corinthians 6, 19 through 20, and her interpretation is that it is important that you take care of your body so that you will be physically, mentally, and spiritually prepared for what God has planned for us. And it is, or do you not know that your body is, the, is, the, is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not your own, for you were bought with a price, so glorify God in your body. That one is a good one. That one is a really good one. And let's see. Stacy, her day six was so that she can keep moving. How true is that? So, you know, if you, if you sit and sit and sit and sit and sit, you know, like if I sit too long, you know, and you get up and you're kind of stiff, you know, and whatever. So Stacy's why is so that she, so she's doing this so that she can keep moving. And Stacy, you're going to be healthy and you're going to keep moving. You are going to keep moving. Okay. And let's see, Stacy also says to be heart healthy. So that was another good one. You know, um, we're, none of us are getting any younger. None of us. I don't care where you live. I don't care how much money you make. I don't care what's going on in your life. You are not getting younger. None of us are getting any younger. It's extremely important. I'm so glad that Stacey, is, you know, is, is taking that seriously, you know, that she, um, that she is trying to be, you know, heart healthy with that. Um, Kathy, her day five was to, was for improved self-esteem. Okay. So let's just say 50 pounds ago, I wouldn't be standing here doing this. We would not be doing this. The leader that we had on um, Tuesday night, she was a fill-in for, um, for Gwen, who is, whose father did pass away and who has been very sick, very sick. She's been through the hospital twice, I think, in the last couple of weeks. Um, 
But the, the fill-in leader that we had said there is no way, there's no way that she would have been standing up there talking to us, um, you know, if she had not um, lost her weight, you know, and been at gold. There's no way we would be doing this. I mean, this is the whole reason. <laughs> This is the whole reason that we're doing this. I would have never done this, you know, before. So, yes, very good, very good. Self-esteem, I think, is important. Um, Susan's um, day five was her first was her is her firstborn. Beautiful girl, by the way. Beautiful girl, and she said she looks forward to um, to all of her upcoming. She looks forward to all of her upcoming um, uh, event, you know, upcoming life events. Um, and she is a beautiful girl. Sandy says. Um, that on her, I think it was on her day four, she said, um, because she wanted to be able to go up and down stairs easily. Yeah, didn't think about that because, you know, the more you weigh, the less your knees work, the harder it is, you know, the more out of breath you're going to, you know, you can get. So that one's a really good one. You know, you're going to be able to go up and down stairs, you know, more easily. Um, Susan's day four, um, her day four is her baby girl, and it's a beautiful horsey. She's so pretty. She is so pretty, so pretty. That is a good one because they rely on us too. You know, she relies on, you know, the pretty horsey relies, relies on Susan being able to get up, being able to come out, being able to take care of her, you know, brush her and groom her and ride her, you know, and do everything that you do with a horse. And um, so that was a good one. Stacy, I loved this one. I loved Stacy's day four. She said, so my skin will feel like it fits again. What? What? I think that one's awesome. You know, when I was 50 pounds heavier, yeah, everything just felt stretched and I don't know, just like, yeah, stretched, like stretched and like I was going to pop, you know, or whatever. Stacy, I think that's a really good one so that her skin will feel like it fits again. Um, Janice, this is another healthy one, super, super important. Janice, her one of hers is so she can lower her blood pressure. Yeah, you're going to be happy. Your doctor's going to be happy. Your kids are going to be happy. Everybody around you is going to be happy. Yeah, you're going to get off that medicine. Um, yeah, so I think that's a great one to lower your blood pressure. Um, Lorelai says, um, she says, these are these girls are my biggest why. They are her granddaughters, and you'll have to go back and look at the picture super cute there's three of them three girls three girls yeah what better what better why you know than to run after those grandkids Kathy also says her day four was to be a better example for her family didn't think about that did you your kids are watching you your grandkids are watching you your family members are watching you your co-workers are watching you everybody's watching you no pressure no pressure whatsoever but think about what a better you know what a good example you can be you know if you sit down and you're eating junk all day your kids are going to see that they're going to eat junk all day your grandkids are going to see that they're going to eat junk all day but you can be you can be um you know a good example for you know for your family and show them you know that they that they can be healthy too um none of us got here because we woke up one morning and you know and decided to be overweight none of us did we've picked up habits from other people hello mary Jo. we picked up habits from other people and from watching you know from watching other people um you know and getting into those habits and this has been a lifetime of developing these habits it didn't just suddenly start something that's really important to be an example um rosie is for her five grandkids her why is her five grandkids and to show them that their grandma is a fighter i think that's an excellent one so good yeah that's another that's another being an example you know i mean an example you know for your family you know because those five grandbabies are going to look at her and go i want to be like her when i grow up you know i want to be a sassy grandma i want to be that tough grandma um you know i want to be her sandy also um her why another one of her why's is going up going up and downstairs with ease yeah you don't think about that. Um, Susan posted a picture of her walking buddy. So cute, so cute. Cute dog. Have no idea what kind of dog he is, but he is so cute. But think about it. He relies on her. She has to take him out. She's got to take him for a walk. You know, he you know he relies on her to be healthy and to stay healthy so that she can take care of him. Excellent one, excellent one. Another Kathy, less pain in your knees. Okay, here's the stair thing again. You know, you can take the stairs, you can go up and down the stairs. Um, with ease, you know, when you've got less pain in your knees. So let's see, we just rhymed. You can go up and down the stairs with ease when there's less pain in your knees. Yeah, I'm a poet and I didn't know it. That's so bad. Okay, right behind her, Stacy, to help her joints feel better. So how many of us want to, you know, how many of us woke up this morning and thought, you know, 
I want to take pain medicine for the rest of my life. You know, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and just, just sign up, you know, for, you know, for an ibuprofen a day, you know, because my knees hurt and my joints hurt and, you know, and whatever. And, you know, I just, I think I want to do that, you know, every day for the rest of my life. Yeah, none of us, none of us signed up for that. So it's totally true, Stacey. Yeah, it's a, that's a great why so that your joints will feel better because, you know, you get achy and creaky and, you know, I mean, again, we're all getting older, but you, you know, you get achy and creaky um, and um, <laughs> need to get up and move, you know, you need to get up and move a little bit. So moving is going to help with that. Eating, you know, eating right is going to help with that. When, if I eat too much sugar, I notice, you know, I don't know, things just start to get kind of swelly. I don't know. I don't know how to explain that. But, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not interested at all in taking, in taking medicine, you know, for the rest of my life. So, and taking pain medicine. So I think that one's a, that one is a great one. Um, Stacey. And then Janice, here you go again. Janice says her, one of her was because she's a diabetic. There you go again. None of us woke up this morning thinking, oh, I'd like to give myself insulin every day. That sounds like a lot of fun. It sounds like a whole lot of fun to prick my finger, you know, three or four times a day and to give myself a shot in the stomach. Um, that sounds like awesome fun. You know, I think I'll do that. None of us woke up and decided that, you know, today. So Janice hit the nail on the head because, you know, because she's a diabetic. She has a chance to turn this around. You know, she is young. She has a chance to turn this around um, and to, um, you know, reduce that, you know, reduce that amount of insulin to get her numbers in check. She's got a chance to do this. I think that's a great why. Um, Susan posted a lovely picture and said that her, that one of her whys was to be able to share her life with this guy. And you all just have to go and look at the picture, but it looks like a lot of fun, a lot of fun, maybe lake time. Um, think about it. So you're, you're, are making yourself healthier so that a, this is not an a, so that a one, um, you are going to be able to spend more time with this guy. Number two, or B, you are going to be able to spend more time on the lake. You're going to feel like it. You're going to feel better. You're going to feel like, you know, getting out there, you know, and having some fun. Um, I think that one's a good one, you know. Um, and sometimes we don't think about ourselves. Sometimes we don't think, you know, oh, maybe I'm, you know, maybe I'm the reason that I need to do this. But, you know, but we'll do things for other people. So if, you know, if it motivates you to do things, you know, to be able to do things, to be able to share time with those um, special people in your life, then do it. Do it. Those are great whys. Okay, so Sherry says, sorry, so says so that she won't be out of breath keeping up with her grandchildren. So I will tell you from experience, Sherry, I mean, I know you already have grandchildren, but I will tell the rest of y'all from experience, they're fast. So I don't think, I don't think Casey was that fast when she was little. Alyssa's fast. And if you set her down, especially if she goes, Bye bye. You better already be running. You better already be running because bye bye means I'm out of here and you're not going to be able to catch me. So I think Sherry hit them hit the nail on the head when she said to be able to keep to to won't become out of breath when she's keeping with her grandkids. Play with them. Play games. Do stuff. Do stuff outside. Kids don't go outside anymore. Um. So I think that one's a good one. And they're fast. They're fast. So you got to be able to keep up with them. Okay. Um, let's see. Sandy's got another one. Knees won't hurt so bad. That's another knees. So we have knees, knees, joints, knees, 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 knees. Okay. Yeah. So I think it's super important. Um, and I don't remember, let me think. Somebody told me, and if y'all remember who it was, somebody told me at one point, I mean, it's probably been over a year ago, how many pounds, oh my gosh, there's some kind of math on, there's some kind of math on, um, yeah, Kathy says, or we're slower. No, 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 no. No, we're not slower. Um, and Haley says, high O's hurt too with extra weight. Oh, hips, 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 hips. Haley says hips hurt with extra weight. Yeah, everything I think hurts. I think you're exactly right. Everything hurts with extra weight. But there's some kind of math on the pressure or something that's what is it that's on your knees with every extra so many pounds if anybody knows that math um go ahead and post it i cannot remember what it is but i think that i mean that's that's like a real thing it's not it's not an imagined thing there's a real you know it's 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 real um if you're carrying around i forget it's so many extra if so many extra pounds it either like when you lose so many pounds it relieves so much um 
pressure on your knees. Oh, Sandra says it's four to one, four to one. So Sandra, does that mean if you lose four pounds, if you lose four pounds that it takes, it takes that pressure. Oh, four, what, what? If you, t wait, so if you lose one pound or gain, if you lose one pound, it takes four pounds of pressure off of your knees or if you gain a pound, it adds four pounds of pressure to your knees. Wow, that's that's crazy. Okay, I knew there was some math on that. Thank you all for sharing that. Okay, Loretta says her, one of her was, this is her, this is her day too. She says, for me. Thank you, Loretta. Thank you for saying that it is for yourself. So um, a lot of us, a lot of us don't think about ourselves. We're thinking about other people all the time. We're thinking about, um, you know, what we're going to do for them and them and them and them and them and them and them, um, <coughs> you know, instead of thinking about ourselves. So Loretta, thank you for saying, you know, for for you. And you don't have to elaborate. You don't have to say for me because X, Y, and Z. It's just for you. You're doing this for you. Good job. Good job. Okay, and Kathy again says improved health. So I think we all agree. I think we all agree that if we did a 30 days of why, or if we did seven days of why, or two days of why, that one of them would be for improved health. So just remember, WW is not about that quick, fast weight loss. They are nudging us ever so gently, ever so gently towards losing weight with the added benefit of becoming more and more and more healthy. Um, it was on one of the WW ads that I saw, I think today, I think it was today that I saw it. It said that WW was, was rated number one with, I think it was doctors for like, a, for like a healthy, I don't know, healthy weight loss, or it wasn't just healthy weight loss, but anyway, but for improving, improving your health. So when we don't, you know, lose, you know, three pounds a week, like we did on some other diets, or we don't, you know, the, the weight isn't just, you know, like, dripping off of us you know it's not just flying off of us we got to keep in mind that we're trying to be healthy too you know i don't think any of us gained our weight you know overnight so like i didn't gain 50 pounds in uh, i didn't gain 50 pounds you know in a few months you know in a handful of months you know back when i when i gained it so you know i couldn't expect to lose it you know in a few months so you know so i think i think health is a is a really good one improved health um and Sandy also says one of hers is because she didn't want to be obese. She just didn't, she just didn't want to be overweight. So I hear you. I hear you, sister. Yeah, I don't want to be overweight too. Now I have a different vision of what overweight is now that I'm 52. I think that's right. I think I'm 52. But anyway, I have a different vision of it. You know, I used to think, you know, when I was 18, I thought 125 pounds was, you know, just, oh, it was just ridiculous, you know. And then as I got older, you know, my idea of what obese for me was, you know, got, you know, went up and up and up and up and up. Um, now there's no way, there's no way I would want to lose 125 pounds. No way. None. Let's see. Hold on. Barbara just chimed in here with, um, her new why is she has diverticulitis and isn't, and has been in the hospital this week for three days. I don't know. I'm so sorry, Barbara. I'm so sorry. Um, and so now she's going to be working on her portion. So that is an excellent why, you know, and that's something that definitely, you know, staying, you know, getting, getting her portions under control, you know, and getting her, you know, continuing to work on her meal planning. You know, I think that's going to be, that's going to be, um, that's a great why. It's an awesome why because you, we don't want, we do not want you to have a repeat trip, you know, back through the, um, back through the hospital. And let's see. Okay. And Kathy's another one, her grandchildren. I think grandchildren are always, you know, a good options. Uh, I mean, your option are always a good, a good why. I mean, that's an excellent why because. Um, so hopefully Casey's not here, um, you know, to hear this. But I love her, and I loved having her as a child, and she was like the most awesome kid ever. And I always said that she was my, she was the best puppy ever. Um, but you grandmas out there. I don't know. The grandkids is just a totally different, you know, feeling. I mean, I wanted to be there for Casey. I wanted to be able to play with her. I wanted to be able to do things, but I don't know. I'm driven. I'm just driven by Alyssa, you know, by being a grandmother. Um, do y'all feel that same way too? I mean, I don't know. It's a, just a different, I don't know. It's a different kind of a drive and I don't know if it's because I'm older and I understand what things are 
better what things are really important, you know, you know, that I, I don't know, just understand a little bit better than I did back then. Um, but I don't know, I just, I'm driven now, you know, by being, you know, by my grandchild, by being a grandmother. And Kathy says, yes. Um, okay, so Sherry, another grandkids, more grandkids, her two grandsons, absolutely adorable, cutest picture on the beach, cute, cute, cute boys. Um, love, you know, love them, love them. Really good picture. Um, Stacy's, one of hers was her let's see let me click down here yeah so it's adorable adorable picture i wish i could turn this around and show you all actually i can real quick hold on tell me this is not a cute one look at that little face look at that little face she's so cute so cute yeah that's an adorable that's an adorable why adorable why okay and let's see and then we have um janice says because she's getting older thank you we're all getting older all getting older yeah and carol says i didn't understand until i became one she loves the peanut yeah we have a peanut too and everybody that's a grandma is going yeah and you all are doing hearts yeah and you're you know giving me the, yeah um anyway uh, janice you're exactly right we're all getting older so hey marilyn and this is marilyn's first time watching everybody tell marilyn hi and she says she's loving this yeah thank you we're so glad that you're loving this um but everybody is getting older so that is exactly true. None of us, none of us are Benjamin Buttons and going backwards in time. So we're all getting older. You all all know, or you should know, this gets harder as you get older. So I'm not saying, I'm not trying to discourage you, you know, and saying if you're 50, 60, 70, 80, you know, I mean, I know 80 year olds that are doing this and are being wildly successful. I'm just saying, you younger kids, you know, that are here to the, um, tonight, um, get going now don't wait don't wait until you're a mom don't wait until you're a grandma you know don't wait until you're a grandma oh no and Haley says i'm 51 and no grandchildren yet it's okay it's okay um but don't you know don't wait don't wait before you get on this healthy you know eating bandwagon because um you know you're gonna make up you know some some lost times oh and myra says her number one why because she is worth it you are you are hello lisa you are Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Ooh, and Sandra says great grandchildren also. So Sandra, is it worse? So as as obsessed as we are with our grandchildren, is it worse when they're great grandchildren? <laughs> Does it even get worse? Okay, and let's see. So and Loretta's another one of Loretta's is that to remember that every food has a point value and to not stress and to enjoy the journey. Yeah, that's a very good why because we don't need to stress about it. Just enjoy it. We're going to do this for the rest of our life. So do, you know, do enjoy it. Um, Lynn says to see her grandchildren grow up. Okay, this is another great picture. So I'm going to turn around and show y'all real quick. Oh, hold on. Let's get all the writing off of there. Is that not another great picture? Yeah, that was a really good picture. Really good picture, Lynn. So y'all have shared some really good ones. Really good ones. Okay, so Lynn says to see her grandchildren grow up. And Lynn, how many of them are there? Because that's like a gaggle. Is that all of them, or are there are there more? Are there more than that? Okay, and let's see. Of course, you've got Carol, all of Carol's with the, you know, all of Carol's with the grand with the new grandbaby. And Susan says to be a sexy, sexy fifty three year old. Yeah, I'm with you, honey. I am with you. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay. Betty says for her health, you're exactly on the money, Betty. We've got to do we have got to do this for our health, you know, because you know, we there's just I don't know. We've got to take care of ourselves, you know, because there's not this whole group of people out here waiting, you know, just waiting like there used to be, you know, to help take care of us. So totally on board with you on your health. Um, Sandra Sandra's is to be able to help take care of her husband. So um, her husband's going to be 77, 77, or actually it was, he was 77 October the 3rd, so happy birthday, Sandra's husband, and if she can't, and she's 75, and if she can't take care of his daily needs, then he will have to go into care, so she wants to stay healthy and fit so that she can help take care of him, bless you, bless you, honey, thank you so much for doing that, thank you so much for taking care of yourself so that you can take care of him, honestly and truly, so appreciate you that, for that, so appreciate you, um, and let's see. Uh, so we got a couple more. Oh, uh oh, it's one till. So we're gonna have to wind this down. Um, oh man, there was one more that I was gonna. 
there is one more that I was going to show you all. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Yeah, because Myra says that she's worth it. Myra says that she wants to look better, um, to get healthier for, you know, for her heart. Um, we've got lots of people um, talking about, you know, coming off of insulin, coming off of medications, um, people that are... Um, um, uh, people that are getting ready for doctor's appointments. Um, so, I mean, really a lot of it, you know, revolves around health. Um, this one though is so funny. So Myra has done what I said and she has gone back and posted, you know, day one, day two, day three, you know, one, two, three, four, five. And you're more than welcome to do that. This one is so funny though. And there was another one that I wish I could find it. Um, and you know, scrolling through, but there's, I don't know, there's probably over a hundred of these, but this one, Myra, this one is so funny. And there was another funny one that I was trying to find, but it says, but Myra says, um, to get off the float on the river without help. Did you even think about things like that? I mean, I didn't, I didn't think about things, you know, that I couldn't do when I was 50 pounds heavier. I struggled to get out of one of our vehicles, had a really low, had a really low seat. And, um, Wanda got almost 30 while watching this tonight. <laughs> Yay! Um, but so, oh, I think somebody's getting ready to get blocked. Yeah! Love those people. Anyway, so, um, but I uh, was having trouble getting out of one of our vehicles, you know, because I, because I was 50 pounds more than this, you know, and it had a really low seat, and I would have to, like, you know, okay, let's get ready. Let's get ready. Let's get ready to go. Let's get ready to go go you know to get out of it never occurred to me that all i needed to do is you know was lose weight to be able to um to do that yeah and haley said she noticed a steering wheel rubbing her belly so i think the one that i was looking for was something like that it was something like that okay um and sandra says she wanted to make better food choices and be a good example to others um so there's anyway there's a ton of these so they are mostly in our closed group so if you want to be in our closed group it is just if you have an egg um, a let's see it's if you have an egg what is it a WW a Weight Watcher support group um, you've got to answer the three questions somebody went through and I'm not gonna say the name on here but somebody went through and tagged like a hundred of their friends and none of their friends have answered the question so I'm going do I let them in? Do I not let them in? Do I let them in? Do I not let them in? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Because I, I don't know if they just accidentally <coughs> like hit, you know, to add all of their friends or if these are friends who are even interested in our group. But anyway, please, please answer or please answer the three questions if you, you know, if you go to get the group. Okay, so we do have to wind this down. Janice has got to go. I, got, I need to go because we've got to get this wound down. I'm starting to get, you know, a little bit choked here. So don't forget your homework um, from the first part when we talked about hitting rewind to move forward. Um, go back and find something. You know, you don't have to go back. We've probably all had something this week, just this week, maybe even this weekend, that you could go back, you know, and rewind on. Um, keep those. Um, keep those 30 days of why. Even if you didn't do all 30, keep those coming. They have been literally so inspirational. Um, I have loved reading them. I've loved going through every single one of them, and I know that you all have too. Um, if you are watching this, um, and Nancy says to avoid embarrassment, that's so simple. I mean, simply said, absolutely simply said. But um, if you're watching this later on YouTube, please go up here and watch the next video. Or you can um, subscribe. Or we still have spread shirts. Spread shirts. Yeah, I said it right. I'm still messing it up. Anyway, spread shirts for sale. And that does help, you know, to support us um, because we do have to pay fees and things, you know, for this. And we do not charge you all for anything. So that would be an awesome way to support us. And um, let me think. So y'all have an awesome week. Dusty is sound asleep, so I'm not going to bother him. Um, but y'all have a great week. I will see you later. And I really enjoyed tonight's chat. Thank you all so much for being a part of this. Good night, and we'll see you next week. Good night. Good night.